Yeah, happy Friday, everybody. Um, I'm actually really late this morning, but I have a great excuse. Um, on my way to work, back behind, I have to go back behind the Lowe's to take this back road into Austin. There were these three little bitty Chihuahua puppies that were just sitting there shivering. So I tried to get them and they walked into this field and um, that's fenced of course and there's horses and I don't really want to get shot by getting on somebody's property. So I ended up calling animal control and they're going to go out and see if they can find them. But um, this lady had stopped and said she sees them every morning sitting out there shivering. So either somebody in, in a neighborhood close by is letting their dogs out and they're just taking off or they're living out there on their own. Either way, they need to be taken care of. So animal control should go out there and be able to find them and take them over to the shelter and take care of them until somebody can adopt them or their owners will come take care of them. But it looks like they've been dumped out there. So anyway, that's why I'm late this morning. Um, oh, come on. We were supposed to, if everything would have worked out yesterday, my vlog would have been non-existent until later today because we were going to fly to San Francisco today. And then fly back Tuesday for an anniversary trip, but I couldn't get anybody to work for me today. Nobody wanted to work late. They've all got, you know, their own stuff to do, and and I understand it, but I also understand being a team player and, you know, helping somebody out, because Lord knows the people I've asked, I've helped tons. And so, it's fine. One of them ended up saying he could, but it was already too late at that point. And he wasn't really committed to actually doing it. He just thought about doing it. But he'd have to ask his wife and all that and make arrangements for his kids. But anyway, so, we were going to go next weekend. Next Friday, we were going to fly out. And I started looking everything up, and it's going to be spring break, and everything is really expensive. It's like triple the price, which is ridiculous. I, I really don't see that many people going to San Francisco for spring break. I see a lot more going to the coast than going to San Francisco where it's cold. Well, actually, San Francisco is the same temperature we are in Texas and Austin, so... But anyway, so I think we're gonna go the weekend after that. I gotta book the trip during my lunch today. But uh, when we're there, I wanna take a little detour to a little town called San Bruno. And if you have your own YouTube channel, you should know what's in San Bruno. That would be the YouTube headquarters. And so I'm going to try to see if they'll let me take a tour and maybe film a little bit. And maybe film a vlog inside there. Yeah, you never know. I mean, it's YouTube. I, I mean, it's Google, ultimately. So it just depends on what their policies and everything are. So, but we want to go and I, I've been twice to San Francisco. My wife's never been been twice on business and once I was there I stayed in Santa Clara but we were in that area for two weeks and we actually got to go to Google back then this is 2005 we went to Google and um, Yahoo and somebody else and got to go see their offices while we were there so that was pretty cool but I'd love to go to the, the uh, YouTube headquarters so we'll just wait and see what happens on that um, I've been toying with the idea of just doing a daily vlog where I don't really talk about anything I just talk about what's going on in my life or whatever what my daily plans are and all that and then doing a separate channel where I just tell stories 
because it's hard for me to tell the story in the car and so what I want to do is be able to record them at home and then edit them and then upload them and have you know once a week or twice a week have um, a story come out on that channel so I'm considering that I'm also thinking about because I need to start losing some weight and doing some exercise and having the bike vlogs really fun as long as I can get the tires aired up and I don't wear myself out before I get to the point where I start talking so my other idea is just to do one kind of to track my exercise and weight loss and then throw the bike vlog in there but I'm not sure if that's what I want to do or not I haven't decided yet I, I'm gonna think about it and see the story thing I'm probably going to do that way just because it's so much easier to sit in front of a camera where I don't have any other distractions and tell my stories because I end up leaving things out or there's not enough emphasis on what really happened like my story yesterday there's actually a lot more emphasis when I tell it live than telling it into the camera and I think the reason being is because I'm not distracted when I'm just randomly telling somebody that story. I feel more distracted when I'm driving because I have a lot more to pay attention to. So that's I'm going to probably figure that out by this weekend. That's probably what's going to end up happening is I'll have a separate channel just for stories. I'm excited to go. I'm not a very good flyer. I don't like takeoffs, which is weird because a lot of people I know say they hate landings, but they like takeoffs. I love landings. Give me landings all day long. I don't care. It's a takeoff I cannot handle. It makes me nervous, and I don't know why. And I think it's because even when you land, you don't really tilt the plane forward that much. But when you're taking off, the plane is tilted back. I don't know, I just don't like that feeling. And so the first time we went, when we went to Vegas, I flipped out and took a couple of Xanax and I was still flipping out because it had been my first time to ever be on a plane. And we were worried that the, we took Southwest, which has been really cool. And we are kind of afraid that they were going to end up strapping me in. But once we got up to altitude, I was fine. It was just during takeoff. And I think the reason I initially freaked out is I had no idea what to expect. Because I'd never been on a plane. So I had no clue what was going to happen. And so I got really, really, really overly nervous. And then the second time I went, it was right after we got married, is that time that I went to California for two weeks. Went to San Francisco and... God, we went everywhere. Santa Cruz and Monterey and uh, Carmel by... I always call it Carmel. It's Carmel by the Bay. And uh, where else did we go? The place with Gilroy. I always think garlic capital of the world, G. Gilroy. Which is garlic capital of the... I think it's garlic capital of the world. But, uh... We went all over the place those two weeks, and then I went again in 2007 or 2008. I went to, I had it been 2007, I went to um, Santa Rosa, which I love Santa Rosa. And uh, if we were going to be there in San Francisco for a week, we'd run up to Santa Rosa for a day and come back. It's, it's only about an hour and a half to our drive. So I love Santa Rosa, but I don't think we're going to get a car when we go. I think we're just going to stick to BART and uh, cable cars for transportation. Which is lucky because there's a BART station right over by the YouTube offices, and then they're right close to the airport. So. Anyway, so when I had to go the second time, I took a 
magazine with me and thought, okay, you know, I'm, I'm so nervous I'm about to throw up because this is my first time on a flight without my wife. And so I was like beyond nervous. And so I got on there and I thought, well, at least I'll sit next to my friend, but it was weird. They booked our flights different and he was, was he on that flight? I think he was, but I got there late to the airport. So I got like back of the plane kind of thing. I'm trying to think if he was actually on that flight or if he came or if he was there before I was. I don't remember exactly if we are on the same flight or not. I know coming back, I don't think we were on the same flight. But I don't think we sat together. I don't remember. That's been a while back. But anyway, um, I did okay because luckily the seat I had was sitting across from the flight attendant. And so I talked to her on takeoff. I know she's supposed to be concentrating, which she was. She was doing what she needed to do. But occasionally she would be like, All right, you know, you're doing great. You know, don't worry about it. Takeoff's easy. And so then the next time I went was when I went to Santa Rosa and I went by myself. And those two times we planned to flew into San Jose, and I think we're gonna fly into either Oakland or San Fran this time. But uh, San Jose is interesting because you go over the top of these mountains, and then they cut parts of the mountain out on each side of the airport. Well, they're not actually on each side of the airport. They're out miles, miles, miles. But that area is kind of like in a little bowl right there. So when you come down, you got to come down pretty sharp. And then there's a channel that wind just rushes through. And so when you get nearly to landing point, they have to go full thrusters through it. So they're past that wind. And then they basically, it feels like they cut the engines off. It's, it's not nearly as fun as it sounds, but I always enjoy it because I know it's coming and it's exciting. And that's what I like about the landing. And that's, I kind of want to fly into San Francisco because they said that that landing is, is usually pretty exciting because you're coming in right over the bay onto that runway. But they said the Oakland one's much smoother and much easier to deal with, but we'll have to wait and see how the tickets play out and the cost and all that. But anyway, so when I, when I went to Santa Rosa, I, I tried to sit across from the flight attendant again, which I was able to, and stayed relatively calm. And uh, I, most of the time when I go to California, because I'm taking the Xanax, I just pass out on the plane anyway. And once I'm through all the being nervous and all that, once I'm up in the air and it smooths out, I'm out. And what's weird is that when we get into rough weather, when we're up, it doesn't bother me as much than takeoffs do. Smooth takeoff bothers me more than turbulence. And I know that because we had tons of turbulence when we went to Chicago it was in 2009. We flew to Chicago to go to Hot Dog University. I guess there really is a thing. You can look it up online. And when we were coming back, when we were going, the weather was kind of bad when we got into Chicago, but it wasn't really affecting the airplane at all. Coming back, we flew through a storm for like two hours, and um, we ended up sitting in front of this, or behind this bulkhead, and uh, so there was nobody in front of us. We had tons of legroom, but it was freaky. It wasn't nearly as, as fun flying back, but I don't think I was as nervous. My wife's pretty nervous and she's flown tons of times. And so I probably should have been nervous than she was, but I wasn't. For some reason, I just wasn't that nervous. I was more agitated that the pilot wasn't flying either above it or get below it or get away from it. I mean, he just kept flying straight into it. So this time, I think we're supposed to, I think they're predicting good weather if we would have went next weekend, it was supposed to rain. But I think the weekend after that, their forecast shows that normally it's usually pretty dry and cold. So we have to wait and see. But I'm excited. I was nervous yesterday. 
because of the whole getting on the plane thing. But, uh, I'm not nervous right now because I don't know exactly when we're going to go, but I will, like, the night before I won't sleep or anything because my nerves will be just shot from having to get on a plane. But like I said, once I get up in the plane, I love it. So, who knows. Anyway, as soon as I know exactly when, I'll let you guys know. And if any of you live in San Francisco and can recommend some places to go eat um, or cool things to go see. Because I've seen just about everything. So, I need to know, you know, good restaurants to go to that aren't super expensive and um, need to find cool non-touristy things to do I mean we're gonna go see Golden Gate and all that I don't think I'm walking across it I don't know we'll see <laughs> I've driven across it a few times but I don't know about walking across it so we'll have to wait and see anyway um, look for a probably a quick vlog tomorrow because I'll film the bike vlog sometime tomorrow and then well excuse me I don't know what I'll be filming Sunday yet I haven't decided so we'll have to wait and see but anyway you guys have a great day make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe and you tell your friends to come watch my videos have a great day